What's up, everybody? It's Robert Lopez here, bringing you the second part of my three-part online course. Um, if you've taken the, the last class, that was um, heat treating titanium to get some vibrant colors. Now we're moving on to um, fusing um, argentium sterling silver. All right. So what I'm going to do? So I'm going to fuse. So you're going to fuse. So that means you better turn up the AC because it's about to get hot in here. Um, we are going to walk the fine line between melting and fusing. Fusing. What's, what's fusing, you ask? Well, it's connecting multiple pieces of silver um, without using solder. So most people, when they connect uh, silver components, they solder it. Um, I do some soldering. Um, probably 20% of my work is soldered. 80% is fused. Um, the reason why I fuse is that I can connect multiple components, hundreds of components, um, at once if I really wanted to without using any solder. Um, what's wrong with solder? Everybody solders. Nothing wrong with soldering. Uh, I, again, I solder all the time. But if I want to connect a bunch of pieces of silver fast and easy, have, a, have an easy quick setup and not get any solder overflow, I'm going to fuse. I'm going to fuse all those components together. Now, it's going to take a little bit of practice for you all to, um, to master this and um, to get very proficient with it. Uh, I've been doing this for many years, but I can teach you the basics of fusing and the basics in this class is going to be the basics of fusing, what, what to look for, what you're seeing, when to pull away, heat control, heat, heat deflection, how to control the, the temperatures and how to get a, a nice strong bond. Okay, so that's, that's what I'm teaching in this workshop. All right, so the benefits again of fusing versus soldering is that the main thing is that you don't have to do all that setup. You don't have to put all those little pieces of solder everywhere. You don't have to do all that little setup, right? Second of all, when you solder, sometimes if you solder a bunch of pieces together, um, you get a lot of overflow. You get solder going in areas you don't want it to go, right? Besides the joint, it goes over the top plate, it goes over granules, it goes all over the place, right? Well, you have to try to either clean that up and get rid of the solder on the areas that you don't want it. Um, and if you don't, if you think you got it all cleaned up and then you polish the piece, you finish the piece, make it all bright and shiny. Eventually, what happens is you'll spend all that time cleaning up your joints, right? You'll get rid of you, what you thought you got rid of the solder. Well, eventually, the solder, the, all the joints will start showing up because solder tarnishes differently than silver does. It tarnishes at a different rate, which is usually a, a faster rate. Um, so you'll spend all that time cleaning up your joints. It'll look pretty. A month later, all your joints will start showing up. Seams will start showing up because the solder tarnishes differently. Well, with fusing, you don't have any solder. So it's, it's all the same metal. It's all, it's all argentium sterling silver. So as it starts to discolor slightly over time, if it does, it's all going to do that at the same rate. Okay, It's all going to look the same. Um, argentium is tarnish resistant, so you, you will get very little of that, if, if any. Um, but it's all the same metal. Now in my work, I always add just a, a butt ton of, of, of components. Just I'm just stacking stuff. I'm throwing stuff out. I'm granules and wire and water casts and, and, and the sink and, and knickknacks and patty wax and doohickeys. I'm just throwing stuff at it, right? I'm just layering and layering. Well, to solder all that, pain in the butt. Pain in the butt. It's just, it's not it's not cool. It's not cool at all. So I fuse. I can and I can like I said, I can fuse 50, 60, 70 components at once. Um, in this project, we're not going to get that crazy. We're just going to fuse a few things here and there. Um, I think it's about 20 something pieces, little components. And um, I'll show you how to do it in steps. That way you're not melting things. And then um, you'll add another layer and then you'll fuse that. We'll do a little couple extra little things. But again, this is just the basics of fusing. I'm trying to get you, um, trying, trying to teach you the basics of it. After this course, uh, after I make a few more courses, I'll start getting more technical. I'll start adding more things, more techniques, and we'll, we'll in my other courses, we'll, we'll fuse more stuff. But I'm just trying to teach you how to, how to crawl right now, okay? How to crawl, and then the next ones will be walking, and then we'll get running, and then we'll get to flying. We'll, we'll, we'll do these crazy things where we're just throwing all kinds of pieces on it, and you can fuse those together without melting it. Um, and if you're concerned about uh, its strength, it's very strong, if you do it correctly. If you get a deep fuse, um, these joints are very strong. So what we're going to focus on is getting a deep fuse. Um, there's people out there that I've watched and they do some fusing with Argentium and it seems like to me like they're they're just doing a tack fuse. Um, I like to get a, a deeper fuse. 
with my pieces so that I know that they're really gonna, they're, the, the connections are strong. That they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna hold on, that uh, hold on really well. You can bend it, you can hammer it, and those pieces will stay on. Um, so again, this is the piece. That's a top plate. And then we're not, we're not, just to be clear, we're not doing the stone setting in this class. We're not making the bezel, we're not doing the stone. We're not doing the connection to the, the cuff. Um, that'll be the next class after that. Um, right now we're just gonna be focusing on this top plate. Now this top plate that I've made, this top plate can be used, this, this, these techniques, this fusing technique, this top plate, you can do whatever you want with it. If you don't wanna take the next video course from me and learn how to do the stone setting and the, and the connecting to a bracelet, you can take these techniques and transfer it to like a ring shank or um, a pendant. You can add a bail. You can add, you know, do whatever you want to it. Jump rings, yada, yada, yada. Uh, and you can make it into a pendant. But I, again, I'm just focusing on the technique of fusing Argentium sterling silver. And we'll get into on the next, next video on this course, next video in this actual course, uh, I'll talk to you a little bit about Argentium, okay? All right, so there's an example. I'm gonna give you a couple more examples. So this, this here has also been fused. So all these components here are all fused. All, this, all the, the border has been fused. Everything in the background, this back plate, there's a second back plate, that's been fused. The wire on the, the border of the bale has been fused. Um, and there's hundreds of components in this piece here, all right? So that's all been fused for the most part. There are solder joints, but most of it's been fused. Here's another piece. So all of this has all these components have been fused. Um, these side, this border has been fused on. Um, these pieces up here have all been fused on, and then soldered to the bale. But yeah, there's hundreds of hundreds of components here. That's that's gonna be later. I'll get into some of these other techniques that I do in, in another course later on. You know, a month from now, a couple months from now. And here's another example. So all of these components here. The water cast, the granules, the wire, those all have been fused on also. All right. So again, in this class, teach you how to fuse, teach you how to teach you to, to recognize what you're looking at during the process. Um, torch control, uh, heat deflection, uh, things like that, just to make a really good joint, and I'll, I'll show you these little techniques that I use and what I'm looking at when I'm fusing. But again, this is this is walking a fine, very very fine line between melting the piece into a ball and fusing the piece, making a, a strong connection. Um, let's get you let's get you walking, and then we'll get you running, and then we'll get you flying. All right, so turn up the air conditioner, get those torches ready because it's about to get hot up in here. <laughs>